What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review my man Zen Nolly's third mixtape entitled Three 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 Dimensions. I guess you could say it's triple three dimensions. Now, my man, <laughs> God Almighty, man, from Golden, which I I didn't review it, but I did chop and screw it. Uh, Cinder, I did review that and chop and screw that as well. I've already chopped and screwed this. The chop and screw version is gonna come out. Zen's gonna release that. And, of course, I'm reviewing this project as well. And I got to say, Zen, my man, you, with every project, you do something different. Golden, uh, that was my first taste. That was, um, you know, everybody's first uh, experience listening to your music. Then you go to a sender and you, you switch it up noticeably. Here, I wouldn't believe it's the same artist on go now i don't know if i believe it was the same artist who released a sender honestly and that's not a bad thing that's a good thing you're not making the same project twice too many artists who call themselves artists make the same project twice sometimes three times and more so it's like appreciate you my goodness man for giving me this music to review and put a touch on so uh yeah you're my brother thank you for that and let's go ahead and get right into this review 11 tracks long and if you got the weed, if you got the drink, you got acid, pills, whatever, you you don't even need that to experience what this album is. But go ahead and take that. D do all that and listen to this album. Make it even even better. I mean, <laughs> God almighty, man. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, hold up. Let me get to this. First track might be my favorite track on this whole album. Hello, Adele. Just that whole thing, man. Hello, hey, hey, everyone. Hello, hey, hey, everyone. That shit is so catchy. And the beat, too, is like, he's really riding this beat perfectly. Not just, it's, it's not even so much what he's saying, even though it's very catchy, but how he's saying it, like how he's delivering it on this beat. It's very catchy. I, I love that shit. The next track is Suicide Leather. And on Suicide Leather, he's talking about how, he, it's not, what can I say? This is a, well, it's what this album is. It's trippy. Like this whole damn album. Wait till you hear the chapter screw version. But man, you're saying suicide leather. Wear any leather, any weather. And he's singing here. He didn't do too much of that on. I don't even know if he really did that on Gold. He just had a melodic uh, vibe on his hooks on Golden. Now, on the center, you got more of that. But here, he's really just singing on here. Now, track number three, I met God slash visitor. Oh. He's saying like I met God and he's 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 no activist. He he left the sun. He um he he's a gangster pretty much. He's not what you think he is. It's like my goodness. And with Visitor, I'm I'm guessing T G D J Sam, I guess he produced I Met God and Visitor was produced by Hurt Boy, who produced three track no no no, just two. He produced the first track, Hello Adele, okay, on here. Damn good job here, my God. Now the next one, Portal slash No Good. Here Zen is telling you, like, hey, watch out for the snakes. The no good, well, the no good snakes in these portals. And then on No Good, he's talking about to this girl, like, hey, you got it going on, but you, you no good for my soul. Now the next track is Forget You. And this, produced by Bayside, this is a cool track as well. It's, I'm not going to say it's a bad track, but it's the least memorable for some reason. The singing's there, of course, which makes it very memorable. But it's the least memorable track, but what I do remember about it, I do remember liking it. Now, this next track, though, <laughs> Sacrifice featuring Surf. This sounds like a lot of these songs on this album, what this mixtape do. But especially this track. This sounds like something you'd hear when you play Breakout. Remember that game, Breakout? You got the bar and everything, you got... The, I guess the ball, the, like just 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 the friend, the wild on the loose ball, just hitting all these um, blocks, and you're breaking, and the ball comes back to you. You know the game breakout. I remember playing that so much growing up. This beat here sounds like it reminds me of the theme song of that game. I remember playing that on my computer so much uh, growing up, like freaking second through fifth grade i mean i had that shit for a while and this <laughs> brought back some vibes here man uh really like this track one of my favorites not just because of the song but that really 
that beat is just ridiculous. Shout out to Sir for producing that. Shout out to Shinny for producing Portal Slash No Good as well. Um, and Bass for producing Suicide Leather. Um, and shout out to Shinny, Shinny again for producing Psych Ward. Here, you man, Shinny is talking about, you know, going crazy, losing your damn mind. That's just, he kind of talked about that on Ascender. But here, my goodness, man. just And then he digs deeper into it on track number eight, uh, Schizo Effective. Produced by Shinny again, just saying like, hey, like he's showcasing, he's making himself vulnerable here. He's talking about being lonely um, and having insecurities. Like, will they love me even though I'm schizo effective? Like, he's making himself vulnerable here. This is the most vulnerable my man's ever been, actually. Really. Now, track number nine, Bring It Back, Bust It Back. Produced by TGDJ, Sam. I see, I told niggas. I told niggas that... TGDJ and Zen Gnarly are the most underrated duo in hip hop. But niggas don't be listening. See, this track right here, this is my bring it back, bust it back, bring it back, bust it back. It's that shit. There's a music video to this too, I want to say. Uh, check that out. Definitely check that out. This right here, though, is the shit. I mean, of course, it's not just Zen, but Sam's on here. So. Yeah, I'm puffing gas right here. I'm really blowing a nigga up. But yeah, what's an underrated duo in hip hop? I told you. Just, just talking about this girl. She's my bring it back, bust it back. I wonder if it's the same girl who's, you know, it'd be cool if that's what this is. It'd be very interesting, very cohesive with the album. If that same girl who's just bring it back, bust it back is the same girl who is no good for him. You got it going on, but you no damn good for me. Check number 10. Wrong. I think I already know about that, actually. Um, well, nothing really to say that I can't think of the top of my head. Just saying, like, not everything's wrong, but niggas. Niggas are so wrong. And you're damn right. <laughs> like, what he talked about on here. What, oh, man, he said one thing in particular. Oh, it reminded me of this one track that he did on a sender about um, a woman trying to provide for her child and having to travel. Oh, I forget what, this, what that was, but... um. Let's go ahead and get to the last track. Nothing is everything slash Back to the Future produced by Butch Dawson. Oh, Wrong was produced by Hurt Boy and Chinatown. But Nothing is Everything is very futuristic and trippy. trippy. Like, Nothing is Everything when he talked about, you know, computers I'm fighting all this shit around me, like technology, and it's, um, it's just really not that good for me. And then switching over into Back to the Future when he's talking about being fried out of his mind, it's like, my, my God. There's a reason he put this in the trip hop genre, well, sub genre of hip hop. This is, it's all of that. It's wonky, it's trippy, it's, of course, druggy, it's glitchy. And this is what my man said about this album. I remember interviewing him just a while back in June. And I asked him, so what can we expect on this album? And he said, look, you're going to get heartbreaks, mental breakdowns, suicidal thoughts, struggles with artistic expression, hallucinations, depersonalizations, delusions, questioning existence and God, loneliness, the future, robots, portals, parallel realities, prophecies, changes, vo uh, voices, sacrifice. You definitely get all of this on this album, not just in the lyrics, just the vibe. If you just heard this mixtape and got... Um, just the instrumental, not the lyrics. You probably, you probably figure out what you're gonna get if you know who Zen is uh, as a person and as an artist. Given what you heard on Ascender, uh, if you just heard these beats, you get that. You'd be thinking, "Oh, this is gonna be something about some freaking futuristic shit, something about portals, something about parallel shit." You, you think that? Like you think you that really uh, deep is such a not a blank statement, but it's such a generic word to use for something like this. But that's what this is. You'd be thinking, I'm going to get something deep, something out of this world type of shit. And that's what you're going to get. If you just heard this instrumental, you think you're going to get that. That's exactly what you get with the beats and with the lyrical content. So, shout out to my man Zen. This is very far left for you. I hate to say that. Sounds like it's political and everything that's going on right now. It's very, it's, <laughs> it's just, it's zen. See, that's funny. With the artists like zen, you get 
you don't know there is no more core sound for this guy unless he makes another project that sounds sort of like this which i don't think he will there's no core sound of this man you got golden then you get a cinder then you get this he doesn't have a core sound so not knowing what you're gonna get is his sound pretty much like it doesn't make any sense because no sound isn't a sound but you know what i'm saying like you're not gonna get golden you already got it you're not gonna get a cinder you already got it the next project you're probably not gonna get three 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 dimensions you already got it so not knowing what his sound is not having a core sound is his um that's his i don't want to say like his claim to fame but not knowing what you're gonna get is what zen Nali is i mean you're gonna get tgdj i'll say that you're gonna get that so at least you can look forward to that so um that's pretty much it i have to give this album a I'm going to give it a circle. If you don't know my rating system, just check the description. I have my rating system down there. I have the X, which is just trash. I have a blank, which means it's like filler, kind of a chore to listen to. And then I have the dot slash circle, a check, and a star, which is the masterpiece. This is a Zen Naughty masterpiece, but at the same time, it's just a, a hip-hop, well, as a musical project. This is, if you ask me, a 7 out of 10. So it's going to get that circle. So you'd probably think, oh, it's half and half. No, if it was half and half, I'd give it a 5. To a 5.5, maybe a 4.5 to a 5. But this is a strict 7, if you ask me. And if you've heard this project, let me know what you, what you think about it in the comment section below and what you think about my review on it. And if you haven't heard this project, you're one of those niggas I was talking about. You're not just sleeping on Zen Nolly and TGDJ, you sleeping on Zen Nolly and the rest of the producers that produced this. So go ahead and check that out. Come back and let me know what you think about it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and read the uh, interview that I did with Zen Nolly. And I'll leave the link to it in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So be sure to hit the like button if you like this review. Share the review. Subscribe if you're new and you know what else to do. Check the description. You get my social medias, my everything from... Uh, Twitter, Facebook, and all that, PayPal, um, Patreon, Bandcamp, and I need to go ahead and put my Venmo, Venmo, and my Cash app, Square Cash, in there as well, if you want to donate to support my movements as far as YouTube, music, entertainment, etc. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching Zen. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, <laughs> and hopefully there will be a fourth project. I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to put my touch on it. And we'll see <clears throat> what you do from here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.